It's another beautiful night for the beautiful game here in Lakeland, Florida. Good evening, soccer fans, and welcome on in to Bryant Stadium, historic Bryant Stadium, home of the Lakeland Dreadnoughts, one of the high school football powers here in the Sunshine State, but tonight a different kind of football. It is USL League Two soccer as the Lakeland Tropics host the Side from FC Miami City, two familiar foes. This is the Tropics' third year in USL League Two. And of course, uh, FC Miami has been in the league each of those two years. So these two teams have already met four times during the regular season. We've seen some very entertaining matchups between these two sides and expect that we may have another one here this evening. Tropics, Tropics come in without a loss so far this season, but that's a little bit deceiving because two of their three games, including last week's rematch here against the Villages, ended in a 1-1 draw. So the Tropics have drawn two of their first three games. Their only win, in fact, came on the road in Weston. Their two games here at Bryant Stadium so far have resulted in ties. The season opener against uh, one of the USL League Two newcomers, Daytona, who is off to a very good start. And then last week against the Villages 1-1 as Lakeland gave up a goal in stoppage time to lose a couple of points and it's early in the season. It's a 14-game regular schedule, regular game schedule, but every point is going to be very important. It would appear, at least, that uh, USL League Two has got an improved roster of teams this year over what we have seen the past couple of years. As Daytona has gotten out of the gate well. Treasure Coast Titans new this year and they uh, look to be good. Sarasota Metropolis FC will we'll see. They have uh, had their moments certainly although FC Miami City has uh, gotten their only win of the season against Sarasota and did so rather handily 4-1 to one not too long ago so we'll see about where Sarasota is at but they uh, they look to be solid at least. So every point that is lost here during the regular season is potentially fairly critical to the end of the year standings. And of course, only the top two teams of the eight in the Southern Division of USL League Two will earn a playoff spot. Dangerous play called against the traffic so the FC Miami C City side will get a pretty good look here. Teaming this one up from about 32 yards out. Joel Serrano, or Joel Serrano, beg your pardon, the goalkeeper for the Tropics, directing a little traffic but no danger as that ball never got through. Some lineup changes tonight for the Tropics. Most of the regulars are dressed, but several that we have seen as starters in a couple of the recent matches. That was uh, perhaps Luca Beechers. Collision down there, and a little conversation between the official and the. They call us an officer, so yeah. as soon as he's not coming. So what stuff did he player call? called for the foul. You and me Features looks to be okay. He's up. No, Raheem Taylor Parks in the starting lineup for the Tropics. He is dressed and is a reserve. Bakari Bage. Yoko is also dressed but a reserve. Chase Hovius from Auburndale is dressed tonight, defensive reserve. 
Rickard Lindquist, who has uh, had a couple of starts, is dressed also in a reserve role tonight. So the Tropics have a pretty potent bench to uh, sub in with as we move along on this warm evening, and that could in fact be a factor as well. Very, very nice breeze here tonight at Bryant Stadium, blowing from the near side of the field tonight to the far side, and once again, has, as has been the case for seems like every game either the Lakeland Tropics have played or the Tropics FC have played, the wind has uh, has been strong enough to be a factor. Certainly with the with corners and crosses, players are going to have to be a little bit aware of that. Just underway, fourth minute here tonight, live in Lakeland, Florida. Thanks for making us part of your Saturday evening. Or if you're watching later on in the archived uh, section, we thank you for checking us out as well. Tropics will be home every single Saturday night here in June. So Soccer Saturdays are alive and well in Lakeland, Florida. And We'll kick off every single Saturday night here in the month of June at 7 o'clock. So we hope to see you out here if you're in the greater Lakeland area. The Tropics SC, on which many of the Florida Tropics of the Major Arena Soccer League play, will conclude their regular season Tuesday night in Auburndale at Lake Myrtle Sports Complex. That's a 7.30 kickoff. And then... Uh, the playoffs will be next for the Tropics SC, something that the uh, Lakeland Tropics have not accomplished in their first two years, and the Florida Tropics have not accomplished in their first three. So congratulations to the Tropics SC, who will head to the postseason in the United Premier Soccer League in the coming weeks. We'll, of course, keep you as posted as we can on dates and times. Gutierrez couldn't pick up that ball, and FC Miami City will counter here. These fans fired up Long ball some. into the box, and Serrano is easily able to corral that. There's the possibility of June 14th as a playoff date for the Tropics SC, but not to have that confirmed. So the best thing to do is just keep an eye on the... Uh, FloridaTropics.com website or the uh, Tropics SC social media sites, Facebook and Twitter. They will certainly have all the latest information on games and locations and times. But exciting for the organization to have its first ever regular season championship in the books and first ever trip to the postseason coming up. You can see uh, MASL stars like Ricardo Carvalho and Victor Carreras, Hugo Silva, Lucas Monolaris, all dressing for the Tropics SC this summer. Good takeaway by Ramsey Torrey there. But then uh, Murphy couldn't keep it from going over the end line into the box, and that's going to go too far. And it'll be a goal kick here for Serrano. So not a lot of flow here early on. No uh, great chances either way as we head towards the seventh minute. As we said, uh, FC Miami City comes into tonight's game with a record of 1-1-1. One, one, and one. They fell on the road to the Treasure Coast Tritons in their opener on May 18th, 2 nothing, and then came back uh, a week later with that big win at IMG Academy against Sarasota. That was a 4-1 final. Here's the ball now into the FC Miami zone, but just a little too long for Kean Lynch, who is the target forward tonight up front. Played collegiately at Savannah College of Art and Design with the NAIA program in South Carolina. Just uh, over the border from Savannah. Right near the Hilton Head area, Bluffton. Really nice area of South Carolina, the low country, so I'm sure uh, Kean enjoyed his couple of years there. 
native of uh, Dublin, Ireland. There's a nice run down the right side now. See if we can get across here. It comes into Lynch. Lynch tries to turn and fire and had that one rejected. By far the best opportunity of the opening 10 or so minutes here. It's actually Keegan Farber who showed that burst of speed down the far sideline and was able to create the opportunity, but Lynch uh, not really able to cleanly take the inlet pass from Farber. And by the time he was able to try and turn and fire, didn't have any space with which to operate. Just to finish the storyline on FC Miami City after that win over Sarasota, they had their home opener this past Wednesday and defeated Daytona, or rather tied Daytona 1-1. So they come in with a win, a loss, and a draw, four points. In the Southern Division. Cleared out of there by Ramsey Torrey, who has a couple of words with one of the FC Miami City forwards. Here's Kez Kamura. He's got a run down the right sideline. The Tropics' leading goal getter gets by one, makes the cross in front, and then it's cleared over the end line. A throw in for the Tropics, but again, a good push, push forward for Lakeland as they have had the two best opportunities here so far tonight. Murrah, as we said, the Tropics' leading goal getter with two. The Tropics in that 3 0 win against Wesson actually only had Kamura score a goal. The other two were listed as own goals. Whistle on a foul there on Banabas Gandicamp. Had a very, very nice assist in the uh, game last week against the Villagers. Kamura again. Let's see if he is on sides. He was. Kamura with the shot, and that just whistles by the far post. Didn't have any teammate deep enough to uh, get the redirect, but a good idea by Kamura. Had to wait for a half a second to see if he was actually on sides or not. He was. But did not have a, a great angle. Miami netminder Jeremy Coast not uh, asked to make a save there yet. Third back by Murphy. Whistle and a follow there against Lynch. He's got good size up front, about 6'2 is Ian Lynch. Features gets it ahead to Kimura, and he loses it. This is Sebastian Sergu with it. Ahead to Sergu. Miami will keep possession here now. Chance for a counter. 
called into the top of the box for Santiago Jimenez, and he did not get a good strike on it at all. And Serrano able to put that threat to a quick end. Another nice gathering here at Bryant Stadium tonight. I know it doesn't look like it always on the broadcast because the uh, east sidelines are the sunny sideline where the empty bleachers are. Everyone sits, uh, as you can understand, on a 95 degree day on the shade sideline, which is where we are. ball ahead for Navras, but wasn't able to corral it. Gutierrez loses it. There's some pressure over there by Craig Campbell. So it'll be a throw in for FC Miami City here. Heading to the 15th minute, and we are still scoreless. Really only two opportunities so far. No actual shots on goal in either case, as Camaro was wide on one, and Lynch wasn't able to cleanly get a shot away from about 18 yards out with his setup. Again, a long ball into the tropics box in Serrano right there to cover up. You can learn more about Joel Serrano with our Facebook Tropics Weekly show just got posted yesterday. And Joel was our special guest. Got a chance to uh, talk to him about his upbringing in Puerto Rico and uh, the exciting news for him. I think it was last year, last summer, he actually got called up to train with the U, uh, the Puerto Rican national team. Heading to uh, a new college this fall after his two years at Marshalltown Community College out in Iowa, where he was an NJCAA third team All-American. And he has been very impressive here for the Tropics in the early going. Of course, I had to endure those 10 rounds of penalty kicks in the U.S. Open Cup game before uh, the Villages finally won it. Serrano has uh, stopped the penalty kick already as well this year uh, during, I think that was last week against the Villages. Again, another long ball into the box. Jimenez not able to get there as uh, Torrey came over to run a little interference. You always know when Ramsey Torrey is around, he's 6'5", plays his college soccer at the University of Tampa. I think this is his third year with the Tropics, at least for sure his second. Yeah, it's actually, yeah, it's his third. Here's Torrey. Ahead to Gutierrez is taken down, no whistle. And good recovery. For the Tropics there, and they will try and build forward now. This is Rafael Vacas, who is new to the starting lineup here this evening. Tries to find Adrian Gutierrez down the left sideline, but too far for Adrian. Either said or
Just underway here at Bryant Stadium in Lakeland, Florida. Second half action between the Lakeland Tropics and FC Miami City. USL League Two regular season play. And we are scoreless, despite the fact that Lakeland had several really good scoring chances in the First 45, Gutierrez in particular with a tremendous opportunity from not more than about 10 yards out right in front of goal and was not able to convert. So we'll see uh, if the Tropics can start actually finding the back of the net here in the second half. The other part of the storyline from that first half was the red card issued to Santiago Jimenez. So the visitors from Miami playing with just 10 now on the field, nine in the goal keep. And they uh, didn't have uh, too many what you would consider bona fide chances anyway in that first half. And then having to play down a man made that uh, an even tougher chore. Looking around, don't see any substitutions yet at halftime for the Tropics, who very often come out and have some of their best stretches in a game in the first 20 minutes. Here's a through ball to Lynch, and Lynch is going to be called on the offside. Caste made a couple of really nice saves, made a fingertip save on a shot earlier in the first half that looks like it might have been ticketed for the far post. So, as we mentioned at the time of the uh, red card in the first half, if you were to tell Miami they could uh, head down I-75 for the point right now, they would be uh, in the vans quicker than you could say. See you Sunday. These two teams will rematch again down in Miami. Towards the end of the year, FC Miami City has a very Road heavy early part of the schedule and then very home schedule, heavy schedule towards the end as Lynch was taken down, no whistle. In fact, uh, Miami will play their final four games at home starting in July. But these two teams will rematch down at Tropical Park in suburban Miami on June 18th. That will be a Tuesday night, a 5 o'clock kickoff. Miami will actually get just its second home game of the season this coming Wednesday, the 5th, when they host Weston. And then we'll be back on the road for four of their next five. There's a through ball. And again, uh, what looked to be a good chance did not materialize. Kimura not able to get through. Now Murphy tracks it down, and Murphy loses it over the sideline. And an injured player on the far sideline. That's a Miami City player that's down. And it looks to be a leg injury. We're going to step aside for a few minutes while they let this uh, situation play itself out. And we will be back to uh, 
Bryan Stadium. And
Miami City in the first 20 minutes or so of the first half. Barber gets around one man, gets it in front, goes over the end line. It'll be a goal kick, or a, rather a corner kick here for Lakeland. The first of the second half. They had uh, several in the first half. This time, uh, Ramsey Corey will move up, as will Beechers. Both uh, tall defensemen. Corey goes about 6'5". Beechers maybe 6'3", pushing 6'4". Into the box, and that's headed right back to the west sidelines here and out of play. So There's this will be a throw-in, not a corner, however, as Gutierrez has it. We will uh, endeavor to get an update for you on the injured player when we see someone that might have information on it and, and exactly what happened. The errors will carry forward. Tried to get it through to Lynch, but a nice defensive effort there by Trimmingham. Now Lynch with it, tries a little ooh, give and go with that Kamura that took the worst of that? I think it was Kaz, and he will need a moment to recover. No card on the foul, but it will be a direct kick from about 30 yards out here. All right, fans, we're within striking distance. Let's get tropical! Looks like it'll be I Ramsey Torrey here you. that will do the honors. Maybe we'll set up a one, two, three, four person, maybe even five person wall here. See if the tropics. Uh, Dig into the playbook for a set piece here. Torrey's going to try and get it on goal. He does, but got it all the way through, but was wide of the far post. So another opportunity lost here for Lakeland. And starting to get a little concerned that that could be the storyline of the evening. All said and done. Topics have clearly had the better of the chances. They really did even before the red card came out. Barber. Now Torre with it. It's played by Vacas to keep possession. All the way back to Joel Serrano. Had his sister visiting with him this week. She's not a soccer player, she's a volleyball player. Tropics will push forward one more time here as we head to the 66th minute. And as we said, there'll be lots and lots of stoppage time, so really kind of difficult to tell you how close we're getting to the end. Uh, not that close yet, that's for sure. Plenty of time for the Tropics to try and convert one of their chances that uh, they have had here. Now here's Gutierrez with it. Gutierrez pushes it to the left. It's Murphy out there with him, and Murphy will get it as Gutierrez was taken down in the box, but no foul. We're going to 
going to call the trainer from Bond Clinic onto the field to attend to Gutierrez. Looks like maybe a right leg or ankle injury as the Tropics get ready to make uh, some substitutions here. It looks like Ricard Lindquist coming in. And Jesus Colombo also waiting to get the wave in here. Let's see who the two are coming on for here. Looks to be. Ian Lynch is one. Substitutions for your Lakers Tropics. And uh, Will Niamsi is 12, the other. So. so Colombo in. He will be up front now. Taking the spot of Lynch. And Rickert will be out at the midfield area now. So the first two substitutions come at the 68th minute. Although probably more like the 58th minute, but played all the way back by features to Joel Serrano, who has not been overly busy tonight, but has had to come up with a couple of uh, couple of stops. There's a counter now for the Tropics. Barber with it. He'll bring it to the middle of the field. Plays it through to Colombo, who is offside. Linquist just into the game will pick it up. Gutierrez is uh, back up, and he will be waved back in now. So the Tropics back with a full... 11. Rockets going to control that thrust forward. Features will head it the other way. Takes a big Astro turf hop. And finally, Kamura will settle it to Linquist. Linquist gets it over here to Farber. He's had a nice game. Linquist now. to find uh, Gutierrez in the box, but Caste comes out for that one. Tropics looking for their second win of the season. So is Miami. Tropics 1-0-2. Oh, Only one of two teams in the division without a loss this year. Miami at 1-1-1. One, one, and, one. and finally a whistle and a foul. One against Craig Campbell. Farber again. Let's see if he can make another nice cross. He does go far post, but nobody there this time for the Tropics. Again, Farber will get a chance from the near side. Again, crosses it long, and again, no one there. Features will control it, though, for the Tropics. Lakeland with possession into the 71st minute now. Yes. Lindquist came up for the challenge, but couldn't come up with it. A long ball through to Perez. Miguel Perez, Miguel Perez, however, unable to catch up, so it'll be throw in for Lakeland. Gutierrez, the left wing. 
across in front is blocked with defensive work times two there by Trimingham. Marcus this time will send it over to Linquist who will take a look. Marcus trying to get through. Again, Miami just clearing it out of danger. They would just love a nil-nil draw here this evening. I can promise you that. Give away by Lindquist. Long shot, and Serrano is able to make the save, and then it goes by him. Marijuana had a lot of English on that one, and Serrano was not able to corral it. And there you go. Lakeland has dominated most of this game, and they now trail 1-0 in the 73rd minute. And Serrano uh, can't believe that he wasn't able to put the clamps on that one. So Marijuana, defender, who had lots of space to operate and cracked it from about... It looked to be about 25 or so yards out, maybe closer to the 20. Serrano got his hands on it, but the English spun through his hands. and Suddenly Miami isn't thinking the nil-nil draw at all. And now it's the Tropics that are going to have to really pick up the pace and convert at least one of these opportunities.
Who's by Hioka? Nice to move to the middle of the box. Nice defensive work there by Marijuana, the goal scorer. Just can't track it down. Miami certainly uh, energized by that goal. The fact that they got a red card that they thought was unjust, had a player injured uh, and taken to the hospital here earlier in the second half. And uh, despite all the things that have gone against them, they are leading this one nothing. You can't win if you don't score. Here's Kimura. Kimura with the shot and a great save by Kaste. Maybe his best of the game as Kimura made a bid for the upper 40 left side and Kaste just able to knock it away. Great athleticism by All right, Dan. We're in the, the FC Miami Crazy. goalkeeper there. 80th minute. Oh, come on. You guys can do better than that. Into the box, still loose in there, and Miami is able to clear it. So again, a set piece opportunity that does not materialize. For a second or two, it was ping ponging around there in front of goal, and no Tropic was able to get a foot on it or a head, but. Kind of been the storyline of the night so far. Here's Gutierrez again. Bagioko with some nice work. Keep that play alive and the Tropics will get a throw in here. They will make an easy grab there as Tropics tried to reverse field but really did not have any any support on that far side. One more push forward here for Lakeland in the 82nd minute now. So eight minutes in regulation left for the Tropics to try and get an equalizer and some significant stoppage time as well, but Bob Clinic would like to recognize their athletic We did not see uh, the area athletes and the Tropics and Miami in position to come out of here with a win tonight, and that's exactly where they're at right now. Great credit to them. Ramsey Torrey whistled for the foul as he climbed the ladder on Triana. Columba, who got a piece of that one. Marcus 
I'll leave it on the far sideline and Tropics will push forward here. Colombo trying to make a run down the middle. That ball will go out of play. It'll be a corner here for Lakeland. All right, fans, we're in the corner. Let's get crazy. I think the Tropics sooner or later would get a corner kick conversion. They had 18 corners in that loss to the Villages in the U.S. Open Cup, believe it or not. There's a ball into the box and not a particularly good one. Never got very high off the ground and was easily headed out of there. But Lakeland will control still. Pagliocco in the corner. Playon says the official in front, but Pagliocco mishit that one. Tropics really going to have to play with some urgency here now. There's the ball through in front. Colombo trying to redirect and not able to do it. Got some fireworks going off behind the north goal here from the Lakeland Flying Tigers games. The Lakeland Tropics would like to have their own fireworks here. They have had many good chances, outplayed Miami, but the misplay by Serrano on the long distance shot, that's all it takes. And it's one nothing Miami. Played with uh, just nine position players since about the uh, 25 minute mark of the first half. Yoko one more time here on the left side. One more time tries to get it into the corner. Double teamed in there now. And looks like uh, Tropics will indeed get a corner out of it. So Tory will move forward. Wipers will move forward. Features uh, actually had a had her chance on a corner in the first half, but was off frame. Hard struck into the box, but knocked out of there. And here's a breakaway. How do you like that? and the Tropics are stunned. Just a terribly disappointing result here this evening in a game in which the Tropics had outplayed and outchanced the visitors, but that'll be a happy ride home for Miami tonight. Still probably in the neighborhood of 12 or 13 minutes to go, so not uh, over. Raheem Taylor Parks does check into the game finally, and Gutierrez goes out. Oh, 
Lindquist with it now. Murrow with the cross, and that one is knocked out of play by a Miami defender, so it'll be a corner kick here for Lakeland. And then it'll be Kamura once again to uh, tee it up, and it will be. Of course, it was the last corner that uh, created the breakaway, and that was not particularly well struck either. Final minute of regulation, and then whatever we have for stoppage time. But this one uh, should have gone down as a win for the Tropics, and it will go down as their first loss of the season unless there is some miracle rally here in the final 10 or so minutes. And they're going to play a little keep away for sure and be very content to do that as much as possible here in the final seconds of regulation. Yoko with it. In front, trying to uh, get one of his teammates on a run there, but again, knocked out of there on good defensive work by Miami. They have given up some opportunities, but have also played very solidly in front of Jeremy Coste here at Bryan Stadium. Stoppage time in effect now. And as I said, guessing in the 10 minute mark, that uh, lengthy injury delay very early here in the second half. I think the actual uh, signal I saw from the sideline might be nine minutes of stoppage time. So this will be as uh, disappointing a loss as uh, well. It's going to be hard to top that one against the Villages in the U.S. Open Cup, that's for sure. But two points getting away last week against the Villages in the rematch, and then three points getting away here tonight. Bagioka with it. No, I have my own. Oh. Oh. One goal every three uh, minutes. That's all you need. Did you get uh, the women? You had like uh, like coaches. Uh, one against three is math does not work for Bagioka. Well, it's it's the frustration they're there. starting to show here for the traffic. Yeah. yeah. The uh, uh, instinct is to try and oh, be yeah. a hero yourself and create an opportunity, yeah, but. Playing with the guy down, sometimes it just fires you up. Yeah, it does. It really does. Teamwork is still always the the right answer. Oh, almost a giveaway, but a good step up by Beechers. They play like an exhibition. Luke is still out there uh, doing anything and everything he can. With uh, like seven players, and then after X amount of time, they'd add, and then they'd add and oh, really? until they were up to eleven. Rackus with it. There's Taylor Raheem Parks. Kamura with the long shot right on frame, but Caste makes the easy save there. So for Lakelands, assuming no big rally here, they will fall to 
one, one and two, as we said. First of five straight Saturday night games here at Bryant Stadium. There are some other games interspersed in that schedule for the month of June as well. Colombo couldn't track that one down. And you have a quick turnaround Tuesday night against Florida Elite Soccer Academy then at Creekside High School. 7 o'clock kickoff on Tuesday. Then the division leading Treasure Coast Tritons here a week from tonight. 7 o'clock start. And then Weston FC in town on the 15th. That's Colombo. Has that one taken away from him by Coste. Then the rematch in Miami on the 18th of June. Again, a quick turnaround time. And then back home against Sarasota on the 22nd. Another quick turnaround Tuesday, January 20, uh, January. I wish it was January. It does not feel like January. June 25th at Daytona. And then the road game on Saturday, June 29th at the Villages. Five minutes of stoppage time remaining. So let me correct one thing. It's four straight Saturdays at home, and then the fifth straight Saturday that they play will be on the road at the Villages. And that starts, uh, or actually is the second of a four-game road trip. As we said, Miami with a very road-heavy schedule early in the season. Lakeland with a very road-heavy schedule late in the year. Four straight games between June 22nd and July 9th at Daytona, at the Villages, at Treasure Coast, and at Sarasota. They will finish the season here at Bryan Stadium at home on July 12th against Florida Elite. Comes Colombo pressing forward. Gets it to Parch. Parch was offside. Well, if you're looking for a man of the match, you probably don't have to look much farther than the Miami goal, Jeremy Costi, with the clean sheet here so far and a lot of big saves, uh, especially in that first half. Tropics uh, definitely controlled most of the play and definitely had most of the chances, but Costi was equal to the task. One last uh, substitute here for Miami. And actually it won't matter because time is out. And the Lakeland Tropics will have to do a little soul searching after this one as they fall 2-0 here at home. Something that does not happen very often. Miami playing with just Ladies 10 men for final score, about 70 United minutes City of the two, game here tonight, Lakeland and Tropics, yet zero. the Tropics Thank unable to uh, find the back of the Ford, net. Give soccer. Miami credit. They improved to 2-1-1 one, and one on the season. Lakeland falls to 1-1-2. One, one,
We will talk to you next on My Cujo TV Tuesday night from Auburndale when the Tropics SC look to put the finishing touches on a perfect regular season before they get ready for the playoffs. And then we will be back here for Lakeland Tropics Soccer next Saturday evening. That is a 7 o'clock kickoff again on MyCujo.tv as the Tropics will continue their run here in June of Saturday night games at home. And that will be again a 7 o'clock kickoff on June 8th here at Bryant Stadium. The final score once again here tonight from Lakeland, FC Miami City 2 and the Lakeland Tropics 0. It'll be the Treasure Coast Tritons here next Saturday, June 8th. Until then, have a great week, everybody.